Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the next seven days. Um, Sag, I feel like um, I'm getting a similar message that I got for Scorpio. So some of you guys could be a Sag Scorpio um, cusper, or you may have Scorpio in your chart or be dealing with a Scorpio. I have three messages. Number one, I feel like it's going to be um, a good week for you. Like it feels like things are going to be on like the up and up. There's going to be a positive swift, a positive uh, change in your in your circumstances. Like uh, things are going to be on a good upswing. Okay, number two, I feel like you guys could be dealing with someone that's very educated and very intelligent, very smart. I don't know if this is like a friend, a lover, a partner, or a doctor, or someone that you're going to, but you're going to be encountering someone that's very intelligent, very learned, and educated, very well spoken. And number three, because I heard, um, in my head, I heard Trump supporter, but I'm not getting the energy of Trump. I'm hearing, I'm, I'm, what I'm taking that to mean is like something may get political for you in the next seven days. So um, I don't know if you're having a political debate or a political discussion with somebody. Um, for some of you guys, this could be an air sign because I'm seeing the page of swords in my head. So that's like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but um, things may get political. I feel like be, be wary or be mindful not to include politics in something if you don't want it to get ugly. Because I don't know, you, you, you and someone may be on different sides and it may just cause something bad or crazy to happen. So yeah, those are the messages that I got for you guys. Okay, but... Welcome to your reading. The topics that we're going to cover in order are your money messages. Um, I'm going to pull a money card for you, and we're also going to do a mini money spread just to start off with money because people care about money first sometimes. Then we're going to do your love messages, the person on your mind, and single separate readings. We're going to do uh, general messages, what's going on in general next seven days, what do you need to know, um, what's hidden from you, and we're going to conclude it with an oracle message. And I'm doing something a little different for each of the zodiac signs where I pull a time card for them at the end of, of their reading. So you guys get to think of something where you're wondering where, when is this going to happen for me? When can I expect this? Or when, when is something going to happen? And I'm going to pull a timing card for you um, to tell you when, because I have these cards that can give you like semi-approximate dates. Okay. I've, I've, these, these have, pro these have proven to be kind of accurate for me. So, you know, um, just, I don't know, just something new I want to do. But um, that's going to be all the way at the end. So we're going to get started with your money messages. Can um, I said cancer. Uh, some of you guys may have cancer in your chart or be dealing with a cancer. But we're going to get started with your money, Sag. Okay. What, what, what do you got for Sag and their money? Can I get a money card for Sag? You know what, Sag? I feel like regarding your money next seven days, someone expects you to pay for them. And if you don't pay for them, if you don't say yes, you're, gonna be, you're automatically going to be the villain in their story. It's like your money's your own. You don't want to use it to give it to them. Now you're the bad guy. Okay, so someone, I, I would say don't mix money and friendship or don't mix money with a specific person in your life next seven days because something can quickly turn political or something can quickly turn ugly. Okay, um, I feel like uh, this is like the expectation. Like someone just expects you to pay for them or someone just expects you to give them your money. I don't know if you've been giving someone your money repeatedly for them to expect that or if they're just entitled or spoiled, but that's the standard that you're setting. So if you don't want that, to, if you don't want that cycle to continue, you guys may have to cut that out. Like start saying no to people, setting boundaries. Okay. Um, we have career fulfillment. Okay. So this says, uh, pursue a career that aligns with your passion, identify your strengths and interests, explore related fields and seek roles that offer personal satisfaction. Okay, um, this is this feels like this is your commitment to like what you do. What is this on her body? Is this like dust? I'm like, what, I'm like, what is this? I don't know. But um, I want to say uh, find a field that you can commit to where commitment, commitment comes easy to you or commitment is easy. Okay, so whatever, if you're looking for new work, make sure that there's some level of job satisfaction that it fulfills you literally. Like it fills your cup where your cup runneth over. Okay, also that you're not giving too much to others and that you're also giving to yourself. I'm going to get one more card for a Sag and their money next seven days. A card for Sag and their money next seven days. Okay, we got financial health. Um, this could be, this could see you or someone else at a financial deficit. We have monitor and improve your financial health. Regularly review your credit score. Manage debts responsibly and pay for future expenses. I'm getting future expenditures. So some of you guys, this is like monitor, monitoring like trips. If you guys take adventures, okay, Sag is a very adventurous travel sign. So monitoring trips, monitoring your money, you know, money that comes in, money that goes out. Okay. But this is like monitoring your spending and making sure that you're developing good financial habits and 
a good relationship with money, like a good relationship of, with self and money. Okay. Um, some of you guys may notice like a positive upswing in your finances. I want to say like this month. So maybe like the rest of this month, there may be some improvements. What do you got for Sag and their money next seven days? Uh, I see that you're learning secrets. So, um, you could be learning stuff that could be helping your money improve in a major way, but, um, you're learning secrets. Okay. We got the three of wands. Like I said, travel. Okay. This could be like planning for trips, going on trips overseas, planning stuff, holiday vacations, all that. I see you packing a bag, like, um, a travel bag, an overnight bag, a to-go bag, to stay bag. Okay. I see you going out spending. What is this three of wands for, um, some of you guys could be traveling to a friend's house. I don't know, because the three and the ace is the four. That's the that's a home. It's a house. So you, could be, you guys could be traveling to go see somebody. What's this three of wands for Sag? Their money next seven days. Um, I see that you guys are going to get a brilliant new idea on how you want to make your money. A brilliant idea. Three of wands. I, I see you studying more as well. This could, I'm getting like f f uh, cinematography or video, video videography, um, like a film cinema cinematics like I, I see you studying like the inner and outer workings of something like you're studying something from the inside out like i literally mean like you're taking something flipping it from the inside and then flipping it back out again okay you just crumple that up but it's okay flipping it from the inside put like a front back side to side like you're studying all aspects of it like the sides the dimensions the insides upside down side to side like you want to know more i see that you're you're wanting to educate yourself so this feels like you're taking something very serious. Like, I mean, like examining it under a microscope. Huh, that's interesting. I didn't see that crack there before. You know, like just up, down, side to side. What happens if I do that? Okay, what happens if I do that? Like, you know, like experimenting, touching, poking and prodding, experimenting with it every which way, every way it can turn. You're wanting to learn something like the back of your hand. Okay, uh... Is that the saying? Yeah, but I don't know. It feels like you're wanting to know everything about something. So this feels like obsessive learning. Um, I'm actually going to, I think I might make that your title. Hold on. And then we have the Ace of Cups. Three of Wands, Strength card. Strength is um is Leo energy. Uh, I, I feel like you guys could be getting a new gift regarding your money. Like this feels like a new spiritual gift or a new practice, like something new that you're good at. And I feel like it's due to your obsessiveness. Like, I feel like you're obsessing, <laughs> but it feels good. Like this feels like you want to learn. You have a quench for knowledge, a thirst for more. Sad, you, it's Gemini is the student, sad is the teacher. Okay, but the teacher has to learn. The teacher still has to study. Okay, so this is like you just going back to school or something like that. I don't know. But money looks good for you. It's like, um, there's like an obsession for you. Uh, what is this? this? Is the page of, damn it. I thought I saw that. Yeah, page of pentacles, yep. I was like, I know that card is going to come out or the, the Hierophant, one of those. Okay, but that's what I got for your money, Sag. Um, um, I, I do see you guys worrying about the, the, the health of your finances, like um, worrying if your finances are good. Like I do see you worrying about money, but not because there's an issue, maybe just because you worry. I, I just, I see that like, it's just you. So um, yeah, but let's move on to your general, oh no, your love messages. Okay, so we're going to say that your love um, we're going to do the person on your mind and we're going to do singles. Okay. Who is the person on Sage's mind next seven days? Okay. I'm getting there late. They always show up late everywhere. They're like, they were late. To, I'm hearing they're late. They were late to the wedding. I don't know if you married this person or if you went to a wedding with someone together, they were late. Like they were late to an important event. They can't, they can't bother to show up on time for something big. They can't, they, they will not bother to show up on time for something small. They're always late, a day late and a dollar short constantly. I feel like you're always waiting on them, literally time-wise and just like to get their shit together, to get their act together. Okay, so um, this person can't bother to give a damn to show up for tardiness. They don't care. Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. I'm hearing they're late. They're running late. This person's a disaster. This person feels like a mess. This feels like a broken car or a broken uh, seat with training wheels or something like that. Like this feels like a, a, a mess <laughs> of a person. This is, um, any earth sign Capricorn Taurus or Virgo. What is going on with, um, Sag and this person on their mind next seven days. Okay. We got the ACE of swords. They're showing up late. 
it, they can they don't care to be on time for something. So um, I, I see that you're trying to reach a compromise with someone. However, this could be a Libra as well, because I don't know, compromise and the three of swords. That's like Libra energy. OK, um, I don't know if they're going to be willing with that compromise, but I see you trying. Uh, what is this Ace of Swords? What's going on with some of you guys? This could be an Aries. Uh, you guys could be getting a gift from somebody. I'm getting like a gift in the mail or a gift. Someone could be sending you something. I don't know if it's this person or just you're getting a gift in general, but you may find that you're on the um, receiving end of someone's generosity. What's this Ace of Swords for Sag? Um, Ace of Swords there. Uh, yeah, You're getting a gift. I feel like there's something coming in for you. Ace of Swords, Page of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. What is this for Sag? The person on their mind. What is this for Sag? The person on... Can, can you let me ask the question, Spirit, please? Could be a Cancer as well. What is going on between Sag and this um, person on their mind? This person is uh, putting up an act, okay? They're putting up a fake front. Like, they're performing something very well. I don't know if they're pretending like they're sick or they can't make it or something like that. Like, they, they, they can't make it to the doctor or they got a doctor visit or they're not feeling well or they have an injury or whatever. They're, or they're struggling. You know, this feels like a good act. You know, like... You know, props to you for the theatrics, buddy. And, you know, th those are real tears. Wow, you really outdone yourself this time. But I see, you, you see right through somebody. You see right through their facade. Okay, you see right through this fake front and this act. It's just, you know, you're, you're acting. Okay, in the typical tarot, these people have crutches. You know, you did well with the crying, but where's your crutches? You could have done better. So it feels like uh, somebody here is just lying to get out of something. <laughs> this is giving me the energy of, like, Rick and Morty. I love Rick and Morty. Where um, Pickle Rick. Okay, Rick turned himself into a pickle to avoid going to family therapy. Okay, that didn't that didn't avoid anything. They just took his pickle serum to turn him back into a human being. So he ended up having to go to family therapy anyways to retrieve it to make sure that he didn't die. But the point is, he did all of that to avoid going somewhere. So it feels like um, the thing that someone is trying to avoid doing, it's uh, counterproductive because they end up having to do it anyways to like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, you know, good, good, A for effort, E for effort, okay? You know, A for, E for effort or A for effort. <laughs> yeah. But, um, <laughs> you tell me more what's going on with, uh, some of you guys, this could be a Scorpio. I'm hearing Aries. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I got Earth as well. So can you tell me one more thing what's going on between Sag and this person on their mind? Next seven days. The chariot, okay. The chariot, this wanted to come out then. The chariot, the nine of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, three of pentacles. What is this? What's going on? Someone here is a giver, and I'm getting someone's a forgiver. Um, if this is a relationship that you're in with someone, the only reason why it works is because you are you two are very opposite. Like the only reason why it works is because someone here is very forgiving. If somebody wasn't this forgiving, this would have never gone this would have never it would have never gone this way or something would never go this way the way it's going to go the next seven days the only way why someone's getting off the hook or the only reason why something is still going on or why it still works is because one person is very kind and very nice and very forgiving and they have healthy coping mechanisms and they're a healthy person if it were just if, if there were two like it feels like one person in the relationship is very kind the other person is very much a trickster not dishonest all that mean Okay, if, if the relationship was full of two of these, it would never go on. But the reason why it's gone on this long is because maybe you're the nice one or this, you know, whoever's the nice one is very kind. Otherwise, forget about it. Okay, so I see something's going on, but it's just because someone here is such a sweetheart. And if this is you, Sag, you are being so nice. Okay, and you're like the gel, you're holding it together. And you might, whoever, whoever the nice one is here, may find that they are usually the gel in their relationships. They are usually the thing that keeps people together because of their kindness. Not that you're a doormat, but you're just compassionate. Otherwise, ugh. So if you feel like, if this is you, Sad, you're the nice one, your compassion is a superpower, not, not the other way around. Because trust me, a lot, of stuff wouldn't, a lot of stuff wouldn't have kept going on or a lot of stuff wouldn't have made it as far as it did if it wasn't for compassion, for you being nice. Okay, but you kept going. So that's a superpower and you should be proud. If, that, if that's you, if that's talking about you, 
that's your superpower and that is a superpower and something to be very proud of something to show off where is a badge okay people wear a police badge that's your badge of honor okay because otherwise there would be a me there would be immense chaos if you if you acted like they did if you were another one of them or whoever these people are if this is another person sad but you're not okay um hold on i'm writing down another title that i just got for you Uh, but let's move on to singles before I get heated, because this this could go on for thirty minutes, y'all. I could, y'all, I could, I could talk. Okay. Uh, what do you got for my single Sagittarius next seven days? What do you have for my single Sagittarius's next seven days? Single Sag next seven days. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. Ooh. Okay, so there. Okay. You, this feels, oh, wow, singles. You guys have some awesome options coming in. Oh, wow. Knight of Swords and the Chariot again. Okay, so this is Cancer Energy. Some of you guys could be attracting someone that's very nice. Um, that's a giver. I'm getting it could be a Cancerian. This person could be trying to uh, sweep you off your feet, and they're cheating a little bit. Like, they're cheating the game a little bit. Not cheating on you, but cheating the game. The Knight of Swords is like someone coming in. Like, this is definitely change, and there's momentum and movement in your love life. Um, you guys may have some pretty good options. Pretty good options is what I feel like. We have the hanged man on the back. You guys may actually be attracting the same sex as well, regardless of if you're into that or not. Um, so you, you got both things. You got both coming at you. Sad, you're doing something good. Okay, not one but two. Damn. She didn't stop. <laughs> what is this for Sag? My single Sag is Knight of Swords, which there he is. Knight of Swords, the Chariot, the Ten. Okay. Singles, be mindful. I mean, I don't know. You guys could like this. Okay. Some people like possessiveness. So um, either be mindful or be accepting of it if you want it. But um, just be aware that there's someone coming in that, you know, it feels like they're very traditional. They may think that you belong to them. Um, now, Sag, you guys like freedom. So I don't know how you're going to feel about that. So. <laughs> That's just coming out. You may be attracting someone very traditional, you know, very much gender roles, um, family man, family woman. Okay. Uh, my woman is my woman. My man is my man. You're my property. Okay. You know, someone may be that way. That's like old, old school. Okay. But some people are still that way. Now you may be into that. You may not be, but that's just to let you know what's coming in. Queen of Pentacles is very traditional. It's like domestic. But I see you have options. Okay, so once again, I said it for the person on your mind. Singles, your compassion is your superpower as well. I'm not saying you have to be nice, let people, you know, be a doormat for people. But, you know, um, keep that side of you alive. The yin, the receptivity, the femininity. femininity. Okay, um, don't let something harden you. Don't let the world harden you. Okay? Okay, but let's move on to... Um, your general messages. Baby, put a bullet in me. I know I'm no good. Even though Daniel Caesar's been canceled. Oh my God. He sings. He has the voice of an angel. Oh, why did he have to go do that racist thing? I don't know. But man, his voice. Oh, God. Some people are so gifted. <laughs> okay. Uh. What do you got for Sag in general next seven days? Okay, we have the Ace of Swords and the Emperor. Okay, so I feel like you're going to be talking to somebody. This could be you talking to someone new. This person feels darker than you. So I don't know if they're darker complexion. Maybe you're white, they're black, or you're lighter skinned, they're tanned, or you're from somewhere, they're not from there. I don't know, but there's a difference here. Ace of Swords, the, oh, this person's a bit toxic. Oh my God, this person's toxic. Just a little bit. Ace of Swords, the Emperor, the Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person's toxic. For some of you guys, this could be an Aries or it could be a Libra. I'm getting that polarity because those are opposite on the wheel. So it could be um, either of those signs. Oh, they're toxic. This is like a womanizer or like a manizer, whatever is the opposite for a woman. Okay. What's the opposite for a woman? Womanizer. 
I don't know, whatever the whatever the term for the for woman would be a player. I guess woman could be a player too, yeah. But yeah, this person's stupid, stupid, super, super toxic. Sorry. Clarify this emperor for someone here may suggest that you and them be friends. Oh my god. This feels like this person has risen from the dead. So this may be coming. This is this may be coming out of the blue, like out of nowhere. It's like what? You want to try again? What? The Emperor, Six of Pentacles. I'm kind of getting ending of November, even though this is for the next seven days. But I don't know. This could this could play into effect ending of November, like maybe next six weeks. What else do you have for Sag next seven days? Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. What is this for Sag next seven days? You know what I'm getting, Sag? Um, someone here could be twice your age, or I don't know, maybe you're twice their age or something like that, or someone, I don't know, someone's twice somebody's senior. Somebody's, somebody's older, and they should not be acting the way that they're acting, and yet that you still find them acting that way. It's a, it's a, it's a shame, really. Like, this is like, you're 60 years old, still playing games. Like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> like, or you're, you're like, ma'am, what are you, ma'am, lady, what are you, <laughs> miss, mister, what the hell are you doing? You are 70s. What is wrong with you? I don't, like, at some point you have to look at somebody like, what is your problem? Are you, are you okay? Do you understand, do you know what time you're in right now? Do you know how old you are? You know what? Uh, I would stop doing that stuff at like 50. That's when it becomes unacceptable. Maybe even, oh, 40 is okay, but 50. <laughs> Eight of Swords, the Queen of Cups. What is this for? Um, for Sag in general. Eight of Swords. What is this Eight of Swords for Sag? Eight of Swords. Yeah, someone here. This feels like you guys could be dealing with someone that's vicious. This is a vicious per <laughs> oh my God. This is giving me the energy of like a chihuahua. Okay, so small, but you get closer to them and they go, like, they start, like, biting, you know, they start, like, salivating and, and growling and getting crazy. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know who you're, who is this for Sag? Who is this? Who is this for Sag? The Eight of Swords, Five, five of Swords. I'm hearing they're an adult, so they, they should know better. Who is this for Sag? Who is this? Next seven days. They like to play victim. Someone here likes to play victim, victim mentality, victim role. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I don't know. Just be, be aware of this energy that could be coming in. Okay, Six of Wands. This person could be a bit well-known or on their high horse. Okay, but, I mean, that's what I got for you, Sag. Okay, that's what I got. Um, your reading is about to be so long. Or, or maybe not. Um, let's move on to what do you need to know, okay? What does Sag need to know next seven days? What does Sag need to know next seven days? Um, you guys could get into it with somebody, like into a little bit of a scuffle, a little ruffle, you know, a little rough housing with somebody. Um, you guys could, I'm getting a Leo. You guys could be getting into it with a Leo, like a little fight. What is this? Um, what does Sag need to know next seven days? Okay, you're going to get invited to go somewhere. This feels like it's a date. You're going to get invited, and that's going to cause some kind of upheaval or some kind of uproar, okay? It's going to cause some kind of issues because you're getting invited or because you're going on a date with someone. That's going to cause issues, the invite. The moon, oh, the moon, the tower, and the ace of cups. Yeah, it feels like there's going to be a big, like, standoff or it, you, I don't know, maybe you being in the picture is causing the tower is causing a big um issue sad i don't i don't really know we're going to clarify what this is but the moon the tower the ace of cups what is this for sag they're getting invited by who who is sag getting invited three of three of cups i'm getting a capricorn or something like that or maybe you're inviting yourself but this could be to a celebration or a group or something like that maybe to a wedding a bridal shower a conversation a group a community and why is this causing some kind of uproar? Like, why is this causing an issue here? For what does Sag need to know? Next seven days. Why is this causing an issue? Seven of Wands. Why? In the Five of Wands. Yeah. Seven of Wands. Five of Wands. Why is this causing an issue? I don't know. Maybe someone just doesn't want you to be there. Or someone just doesn't like you. Um, that sounds really... I'm sorry. But, you know, I know people don't like me. Like, people, people are, you know... You don't like people, people don't like you as well. Okay, so I'm sorry. But I don't know. It's just ca causing some kind of big standoff. 
between you and another group. I don't know. Maybe you being invited sets two people apart. I, I don't know. You could be putting uh, two people against each other or this is making it hard for someone to choose. Why is it such a big deal for Sag regarding them getting invited somewhere? Seven of Wands, Five of Wands. Because I feel like someone thinks it's a joke. Someone thinks that something's funny. Someone thinks it's a joke or that it's comical. Something is not, someone's not taking something seriously. I'm hearing an invite or a group setting. Someone is like, doesn't care about something as much. And who is this that's, that's extending the invite or who is this for Sag where they think it's a joke or who is this? The Nine of Pentacles. Um, this feels like it could be a family member. I don't know. Someone thinks that something's a joke or someone thinks that something's funny. I don't think it is, but that could be what the uproar is about. I don't know. Because I, I feel like there's someone in the mix. It could be this fire sign here. Someone just doesn't support something. Like, I don't know. This is like one family is turning against the other. Someone else's family. You know, it's like two families are supposed to be blended together. They're supposed to be getting along, but they, are, they don't like each other. And the, someone from this family is inviting someone from this family or whatever this or this this group and you know this these people do not agree with it and neither do these people but this person's still going but they're like well i don't agree with that i don't support that so it's going to cause a big issue like these are like known enemies or like people that do not get along so i mean good luck with that um <laughs> sag you're you're doing your sag thing okay sag you are literally the temperance card two extremes okay the temperance card is an angel with carrying uh, two things, okay, two cups, two chalices that are very opposite. These are supposed to be the extremities of life. The angel itself represents extremities and opposites, water and fire, okay, and bringing two things that don't seem like they would get along together, alchemizing it, okay. Let me see if I can find the card. Hold on. Bringing those two things together and alchemizing. However, hold on. Baby, put a me. I know I'm no good. Hold on. Did, do I not have it in this deck? What the hell? Did I lose my, my temperance? Okay, there it is. Okay, but this is you, Sag. This is your card, alchemizing. So you're trying to bring two, get two things together, but that's you as a person. Okay, you yourself represent moderation. You can do this. I feel like you're trying to do this in your life and it's not working out. Okay, these are external circumstances outside of your control. You cannot force them to get along. They don't like each other. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. Or you don't like them or they don't like you. I don't know. Something, something, someone don't like somebody. Okay, I don't know. Um, okay, but... um. Let's move on to what is hidden from you. What is hidden from Sag next seven days? What is hidden from Sagittarius next seven days? Okay, we have the death card. Okay, this is Scorpio energy. De oh, death. Hold on. Death and the Ace of Wands. Okay, some of you guys are going to start something new. I'm getting something about like running into like car troubles. Or something i'm also getting like be mindful um to you know check you know watch your spending i did see that your finances are on a good you know a positive up like on a, on the upswing but um there could be like a deficit so make sure like i don't know let's say you get paid you put half of your check away every whatever you may be putting a little too much away or you may need to like you know um account for something so be mindful that your account isn't in the negatives for something like that you have the money to cover it just put some extra money aside it doesn't feel like it's something major but death, ace of wands. What is this for what is hidden from, um, I want to call you Scorpio. You guys could have Scorpio in your chart. What's this death card? What's hidden from Sag? Death. You're going to get invited to something. It's like an invitation. Death card. Yeah, I feel like there's like some, it involves like seating arrangements or something. There could be like a party where everyone's getting invited to. Because I was picking this up for Virgo, Leo, I believe Libra, getting invited to a wedding or a baby shower. So <clears throat> I don't know if all of y'all get invited to the same damn baby shower or something, but <laughs> I'm getting something about, <coughs> sorry, I'm getting something about like a seating arrangement, seating chart or something. Death. What is this? What's hidden from Sag? Death. Seven of Cups. 
this is like what's hidden is like you don't see like where you're going to be seated next to somebody it seems like like this for example this could be a wedding where you know or a an event a gala a gala where two people you're supposed to be seated against tom and then tom is supposed to be seated across from angela and then angela's supposed to be seated against from jessica and then barb bob you know like i don't know but you don't really see who you're going to be seated next to I don't know if you're going to like this person. It feels like it could be an earth sign. I mean, this person feels rather quiet, but. What is this Ace of Wands for? What is hidden from Scorpio? Um, I keep calling you Scorpio. What is hidden from Sag? Next seven days. Ace of Wands. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Hold on. Let me clarify this. What is this? What's hidden from Sag? Next seven days. Ace of Wands. Pentacles. So there's some good news coming in that's also hidden. Hidden. Um, hidden. I feel like you guys could be, uh, I think I got this for a little bit for Scorpio, which, you know, the similar message, which could make sense why I keep calling you Scorpio at this point in your reading. Um, you guys could be getting hit on, okay, um, from maybe somebody like younger, I don't know, this feels like young energy, but you guys could be getting hit on some hit on by somebody, okay, and then we have the Queen of Wands, this could be a, either someone finds you attractive or this person's very attractive. Okay, you can meet someone through a family event, family function. Okay, but that's what I got for you, Sag. Let's do let's do an oracle message for you, okay? Um Can I get an oracle message for Sag next seven days? Oh my god, what the hell? Hold on, should I reshuffle that? <laughs> I don't even know what card you wanted me to I'll do X okay, I'll do two. I'll do two. I haven't done two for any sign, but you'll be the special one. I'll do challenge and acceptance. It's just that these are kind of long. Okay, challenge. Dragon fruit. You need to dig a little deeper in a certain situation, but the rewards and the experience gained will be worth it. Things may seem unsolvable or insurmountable, but there is a way forward, and you can do this because even now, your inner strength has not been fully used. Dreams are very important, and you would be well advised to keep a dream journal so you can explore each layer of your dreams later on. Overall, the energy of this flower is that of a difficult or challenging situation which can actually be resolved, and in the end, there will be much to be gained by your perseverance. Those working with guides or allies may find them a little obscure or hard to understand, and you will need to work a little more to connect with them. Beware of apathy at this time. Okay, interesting. All right, so you guys could be encountering some challenges, but it's just to say to persevere. And Sag, a deacon of your, um, the nine of wands is a deacon of your sign. It's Sag ruled specifically. It's any any fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag, but the nine of wands represents, you know, being wounded, you know, a soldier wounded in battle, but he's so close to the 10. It says to persevere, persist, and you will win. You know, it's it's hard. You're, you know, you feel hurt. You feel weak. You feel vulnerable, but you can keep going because you're so close to the end. Okay, and that's that's what you rule, Sag. So that energy is easy for you to slip into. This is no issue for you. Okay, we have acceptance. Um, evening primrose. By making peace now with what you may find unchangeable, you could find a new way forward. Evening primrose indicates that emotional support is needed and offered. Often when we feel held in this space, we will naturally improve our outlook considerably. Your commitment to a project, idea, or relationship will be required. This energy also aligns with parental relationships, which may be tested at present. Ooh, I think I was getting something with family. Um, this, flower helps, this flower helps immensely with family relationships and can send a message that things are improving, but that you also need to set firm boundaries to protect yourself. You could be facing rejection soon and are reminded that it is not you who is being rejected, but rather something that you are doing or connected with. This is the time to work on what you really want to invest your emotions in. Okay, um, I, I forget if I got that for you earlier, Sag, or was it somebody else where I was getting like, no, I think it was Scorpio where I was getting, it's hard not to take something personal. I was getting that for Scorpio. So some Sagittarius is in Vedic astrology, you are a Scorpio in Vedic astrology. So you may want to check that out. It depends on like what degree Sag you are. If you're in the earliest to mid degree Sag, you know, your placement, your degree, maybe like um one degree to maybe like, well, 20 is like later degree. I don't know. But Whatever the middle is, maybe like 15 degrees or something like that. Maybe you may resonate with Scorpio. You may want to check that out. 
Um, but we're going to move on to your time message, uh, Sag. Um, we're going to, uh, so I want you guys to think of something where you're wondering, when is this going to happen for me? You know, when am I going to get this thing? Or when can I expect it? Or when will this happen? Blah, blah, blah. It doesn't have to be about you. It could just be in general. When is blah, blah, blah. Like, when is the sun going to, well, you know, let's not X that. But <laughs> when, you know, just, just a question and I'm going to pull a card. Okay. Um, what, regarding Sage's question spirit, what is when? What is the answer when? Okay, we have fall time. So we are in fall right now. So it could be from now until winter. And we have around May fall time within a couple of days and then something else could be happening around may as well okay when you're truly happy when you're truly ready for it let it happen organically yeah so something within the next days and then within the next few days and then april may and then we're in october right now so something could be happening soon and then another thing could be happening april may around that time okay but that's what i got for you guys um that has been your reading. I hope this helped you in some way. I hope it resonated. If it did, I hope it provides you with some clarity moving forward. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye, Sag.